Hey everyone, today we're talking about screencast software. I get a lot of questions about how do you do a screencast and what exactly is it? Well, a screencast is just a video that you take of your computer desktop. You can either do just the uh, browser window or just whatever other application you happen to have open. If you were doing a tutorial on video editing, you might only have open Adobe Premiere. And if you want to make videos for your YouTube real estate channel, you can do that with screencasting as well. Now, when you use this particular program, you can have your little video down here in the corner, but you don't have to. So what I like to use is Loom. It is free and you know I'm all about free. So you go to useloom.com, you'll create a username and an account. And if you're using Chrome, they will give you a little extension to go right on your browser and it looks like this. I don't know what to call that thing. It's kind of like a camera shutter, I think. And then whenever you're ready to record, you just press that button. It will say, do you wanna have your camera on or off? Do you wanna have your microphone on or off and you will decide if you want to be in this video and if you want to be do talking as well or if you don't want to have any audio at all. I highly suggest that you only record your application window. So I'm using Chrome as my web browser. I only want to record the Chrome browser. If I recorded my entire desktop, you would also see my email and my notes that are open and like every other window that I have open, like 15 PDFs right now. So I highly suggest that you only show what you want to be shown and then turn off your email, turn off Facebook notifications and silence your phone because they'll be blowing up the whole time that you're trying to do a video. Trust me, been there, done that. So let's say that you were doing a video about the cost of living where you live. I might say something like, hey everyone, this is Karen Carr here with Keller Williams in Savannah, Georgia. If you're thinking about moving to Savannah, you probably not wanna know what the cost of living is like here. Well, let's go take a look. I found this great website, bankrate.com. We go down and we say, if you currently live in Boston and you make 70,000, you only have to make 44,000 to have the same quality of life if you were to live in Savannah instead. Our housing prices are less, gas costs less, you know, all the stuff that costs less. So even if you got a job offer here, but you were only making 55,000, you're still coming out ahead. And if you're making the same salary or more, more power to you. So you could do your whole video doing a screencast like this. When you are finished, you click on that button again. I can't do it right now or it will stop this video and it will bring you to this screen. It shows you the video that you just recorded and then you can either copy the link or download it. So now I have it saved on my desktop. I can either upload it straight to YouTube or I can put it into my video editing software. I use iMovie. I could put it in iMovie. I could put my intro at the front, my outro at the end, put music behind it. I can do whatever I want. If I made a mistake during my screencast, I can split the clip, split the clip, delete the mistake in the middle. You can do whatever it is that you want. But screencasts are a nice way to be able to make videos very easily, very quickly, without tons of equipment, and you're still getting FaceTime with your prospects because that's my number one thing about most real estate agents' YouTube channels is they're not in the videos and nobody can connect with you. Nobody can establish rapport with you if they can't see you on camera and they never hear your voice. Doing a virtual tour of your listing is awesome, but if you're not in the video, they're not gonna connect with you. And that's kind of the point of your YouTube channel is getting FaceTime with your prospects so that they can know, like, and trust you. So even if you're just down in the corner like this, you're just doing a little tiny, you know, talking head in the corner, you're still on camera, they're still hearing your voice, they are establishing some sort of a connection with you. So Loom is great because it's free, it is screencast software for Mac, screencast so software for, say that five times fast, screencast software for Windows because it's browser based, so it doesn't really matter what operating system you're using. So next time you wanna do a screencast, try using Loom and see what you think. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.